welcome everybody who is gathered here today. We have friends, readers, family, friends and family of our author, uh, team members, friends and family, everybody. A very warm welcome to each and every one of you to this most awaited book launch event hosted by Hostel Leads, Kunzum, the publishers, the Voice Press, and uh, we all together as a single family. My name is Nagma, and I will be your host for the day. But more than me, you will need to be listening to the author and our chief guest here today. Well, before we dive into the magical world of literature, let me take a moment to introduce our chief guest. We are honored to have with us a celebrated author and a dynamic individual who has graced the literary world with his exceptional words. Our chief guest for the evening is none other than the prolific author, Mr. Kevin Russell. With his 15 best-selling novels and a passion for Indian mythology, history and philosophy, Mr. Russell has left an immarkable impression in the literary landscape. Let's give a warm round of applause everybody and Kevin, welcome to this evening. <laughs> it would be very awkward if I were to introduce the main star of the show, star of the game, right? So let me take this opportunity right now to introduce the talented author who's turning into a superstar with her book, The Wandering Star. We've gathered here to celebrate tonight as P. Mitzen, a 31-year-old empath turned storyteller who has ventured into the world of fantasy with her debut novel, The Wandering Star. The first, this is the first book among her series, the Shifters Front series. Her engaging narratives aim to be world building and a promising a great future in the world of literature. Welcome to you, dear S.P. Mitzen. We call you by multiple names, but today we want to be introducing and uh, addressing you as the pen name that you've given to yourself, S.P. Mitzen. Welcome to the gap. Thank you. Before we deep dive into every details of the book, before each of you who are gathered here today purchase a copy of the book that is available and uh, before you get the chance to ask our author and the chief guest a lot of questions, yes you are having a chance to ask a lot of questions, before you do all of that, we will engage or today we will get engaged to an amazing interesting conversation between our chief guest and the author. So I will hand over the entire stage to our chief guest and the author for a quick discussion regarding the book, post which you will have the time to ask your own questions as well, to both the chief guest and the author. Thank you so much. Thank you so much everyone for first of all being here. Uh, you know, I'm not here as just a, as a writer. I'm not here just as, a, as an author as well. I'm here as a publisher of uh, S.P. Mitson's uh, uh, book and I'm very very actually very very glad to be here very very proud I, I've known her for I think quite some time now almost a year I guess well, more, than more, more than a year more than a year, more than a year. So, you know I've seen her writing journey and uh, I still remember the first time I called her uh, and I told her what are you doing yeah she's like no I'm done with I don't want to publish my book I remember that day I don't want to publish my book I'm done with the entire publishing process all nonsense you know I, I'm fine I'm writing my second book once I'll finish all of them then I'll think I said, well, go out, get the book out, it's fine, you know, just push you or pursue it. And I think that's what that's what one author should do to the other author. And she listened, which is the most important factor of uh, every author's life. So thank you so much for listening, first of all. I'm you a good know, listener. Yeah, you're a good listener. Okay, that's great. Uh, Pratik, do you, do you agree to that? <laughs> So, but yeah, absolutely, yeah. But so let, let, let's let's start with the question. And whoever has any, uh, you know, any, anything to say, uh, just just raise your hands. We would love to have as interactive session as it could be. Though, please raise your hands if you have any questions. Absolutely. So, Shivani, you are a dancer, painter, creative writer, an influencer, and a mother rolled into one. What inspired you to turn into a writer? Writing was always a process of healing for me. I used to write whenever I'm in a chaos and there's a storm going on inside me. I always wanted it to be... And I don't want... Sometimes there are things you don't want to share with other people. So I just used to jot it down sometimes in the form of poems or sometimes in the form of stories. 
and to be very frank these are my friends who boost me up who used to read all those things is like you can write it down you know you will write and we will read but that was the thing that made me a writer so you say it began with scribbles yes. but your writings reflect you living in your world of fantasy how did you come about fantasy see we live in the world of panch tantra since starting when you know you're brought up you have been told all the stories about panch tantra vedas upvedas so what do you feel like is see there's a story about the big bang theory again in our vedas the story is like ki the gods it was all darkness and the water was hidden inside four gods came and they started dancing in the sea and the whirlwind uh they created the dust of world wind they created and that what became a sun that was in, that's in the vedas and how that's how uh, the when sun is being brought up and then how earth is created heaven is created so it's all fantasy that's what i feel like so we have been brought up telling these stories so obviously fantasy is always there The adventures of Helloes and the Wandering Star seems to be far from the life of finance head, which which is basically your profession. <laughs> how do you manage? How did you actually manage the two extremes? It's not that difficult because see, your hobbies and your professional work is always different. Well, if you do, you are doing some scientist side of work, and then you are going and playing badminton. you're doing but it's like a very it's a hobby to me writing is a hobby is my passion and the working space is something very different can you take us through the journey of your experience of writing the book of writing my book see it was a corona period i just remember it was a corona period i was in a pre uh, like i just had a baby and i was stuck with a small baby uh, in a room because it was corona so i was not allowed to get outside and after a period of time i wanted to do something I wanted to express myself again i told you like there's a storm going on inside you have to just expel it so i started writing again that's how i started writing this time where do you seek to take the book from here wow oh, it's like shooting to the shoot, shooting for the stars you're on the ground and yeah we are shooting for the stars aiming for the stars like that Did you choose read your story to your child as well? What did your child feel about it? <laughs> I can't read my book to my child because it's sixteen plus. The age limit is there, but obviously, when he'll come to an age, I will obviously want him to read my story. What is your next journey going to look like? What can we expect from you next? Uh, I am working on the next part of this book. This is going to be a sequel, and let's see. I have written. the climax <laughs> and i'm uh, now this is the part of thing this i always write climax first then i put whole story that's the thing is okay tell us this why why is reading important and how do fantasy stories help in this journey see fantasy is always an escape what i feel like is fantasy world gives you infinity there is no limit there is no bars there no boundaries and you can create anything you can feel anything but the authors have no limits when they come to creating a fantasy thing that's what i love about fantasy that's the thing tell us who's your favorite author my favorite author right now is obviously sara ji mas because she is the one who again engrossed me into reading Her book, yeah. the A Court of Thorns and Roses, the guitar. That's the first book I picked up again when I started reading, and it literally engrossed me. And I start, I gobbled up her first, second, third, fourth book, like in the series. That's why she's the currently she's my favorite author. Mm-hmm.